I'm a lot like popcorn. Maybe that's why I'm so good at freestyling. It takes the pressure to allow this talent to pop out on microphone so you can taste the flavor. Yo! Oh man, okay, sorry, sorry. What is up YouTube? It is your boy, your poet, Kendrick Youngblood. This poet we are reacting to today, let me tell y'all. She's capable of some stuff that I've really never seen from another poet before, and that's her spoken word freestyle poetry. I mean, it is, it is crazy. Like, she'll just be like, hey, give me a word, give me a word, like from the crowd. She'll just say that like to the audience and she'll just be throwing words and she'll weave and craft a poem out of that. I'm like, yo, it's crazy. Like, if you know Harry Mack, she's like Harry Mack, but for spoken word poetry. Now, with that being said, her written stuff is fire as well. I've seen a couple of her written bars on Instagram and it's just, it's insane. I've reacted to her before as well, uh, but it's been a while. So it's about time we get back to it. Um, turns out she's actually a friend of a friend. So Lo Alleman, who's also on the Poets in Autumn tour with her, uh, he and I were part of this organization called Urban Hymnal here in Houston, Texas. And it's like a creative artist organization for Christians who are trying to worship the Lord, you know? Now, um, I don't know her personally, but I certainly would like to because I always look forward to encountering very talented artists. You know what I'm saying? And she certainly is just that. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so this is a live audience. I can hear the audience. Yep. Hello, San Antonio. How you feeling? Good. So I am the Jasmine Sims, and we are going to have some, some fun, quick fun. Y'all ready? Yeah. Awesome. So something I do for fun is I freestyle poetry, and I require some assistance from my beautiful, engaging, loud, expressive audience, okay? So the rules are very simple. This hand, this is your signal. This means give me a word, okay? So now we're gonna talk about the words you will be giving me. I understand that this is a tour full of believers. I know that this is the house of God, that you are saved, sanctified, and filled. And I know y'all know y'all Bible, okay? But when I ask you for a word, please, for the sake of my creativity and my imagination, don't say stuff like grace or mm. redemption. Yeah or mercy. That's too easy. I beg of you. That's too okay. easy. I need words like dress, car, charger. Y'all with me? Oh, I get it. Okay, so it's not about how easy it is. It's more so she needs something that has a concrete image to it so she can formulate words around it. I get that. Awesome. Okay. I get that. So we're going to give this a shot. Um, so can somebody from this side of the room please give me an object? Popcorn. Popcorn. Somebody from this side of the room, could you please give me a color? Okay. <laughs> she said, I don't care what you want, you're gonna get this pineapple. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Can someone give me a, a color? Red. red, I heard red. Um, okay, what would you guys like the poem to be about? <laughs> this is gonna be a tough one, huh? <laughs> The spotlight, thank you. Um, again, so I might do this, I might not, depends on the vibe. Remember. Spotlight, popcorn, pineapple. Um, and red. And red. Yeah, all right, let's go. Got you. <clears throat> all right. The spotlight is a very interesting place to be. The spotlight is almost like smoke and mirrors if you're not careful. If you're not careful, you'll fall for the tricks and gimmicks and believe you think the people that approach these stages. A lot of us are actually, are actually a whole lot like pineapples. Not all of us, maybe just me. Sometimes the outside is prickly, but there's still a crown on top because God gave me royalty. So these days, I'm learning to give thanks for my friends who aren't afraid to come to the backstage of me and see the rough draft of the life that I live and still call it beautiful. I'm a lot like popcorn. Maybe that's why I'm so good at freestyling. It takes the pressure to allow this talent to pop out on microphone so you can taste the flavor. Yo! Oh man, okay, sorry, sorry. 
the spotlight. The spotlight is a crazy place to be. If you're not careful, you'll start to believe the person you are on stages is the only person you'll ever be. There is a million different women beside, inside of the girl that you see. It's a lot like the color red. Some days, I get so overwhelmed, I turn into the shade of pink. The passion fizzles down just a little bit and I require the blood of God to turn me back red hot, what he's called me to be on this stage. Hair. The spotlight is also a whole lot of hair. You know us black girls, we know. We know how to hide our roots, how to hide our edges, how to hide bad hair days. Ain't that like the spotlight? How you have no idea what I did before I got here. Instead, I show up to you like a fresh press. Like I was ready for this. But you don't know the kinks and curls that goes on in green rooms and backstages. But I'm learning to steward the spotlight well. See, that's the thing about the light. If you're not careful, it exposes all types of things that get done in the dark. So these days, I'm learning. I'm learning that God's eyes is always the spotlight that ought to hold my attention. Because his eyes, when it comes to his eyes, there are no doors that close off the parts of me. There are no backstages with God. He is the audience that follows me in shadows and secret places. Still, he still never requires me to perform. Only wants me authentic. Only wants me real. Tells me the way that he has designed me to be is actually enough and he is pleased. So on these stages... The only part of me that is performing is dresses and makeup. Everything else is real. It's authentic. I'm sorry if it's not good enough for you. There is a greater person in this seat. I call him savior. I call him king. And, and it is always my goal that my poems please him first. First the goal, and foremost. The goal is to enter into his courts of praise. And I hope that God will ask for a standing ovation when I pray. I hope that when I worship, the angels are in the background yelling, encore, encore. We want more of your heart, more of your life. See, please, don't be deceived by these spotlights. The stage, the stage is not a place that is given to the perfect, without flaw, without error. It is given to those who are willing to be used by God. And sometimes they're not always willing, but God still uses us because he is the audience in our life. It's just another performance to him. It's just another place for him to roam, seeking for true hearts, looking for hearts that are not impressed by talent or gifts because those things come without repentance. So these days, these days I'm trying to be a superstar only in the sky of my Lord, hoping that I am pure enough for his spotlight, that when his light shows up and exposes my darkest parts, his son will step in and take my place and give the best performance, finally making me worthy of his love. Okay, I got some thoughts, but I'm getting a phone call that I got to answer. I'll be right back. As you wonderful people can notice, I have a different shirt on, all right? Uh, I lost the footage, the original footage after the reaction where I discussed my thoughts on the poem. Boy, if you don't... The thoughts are pretty simple. I love how much ease she had in taking a pause from the poem in order to request more words. She didn't seem flustered at all as it was taking longer than it should have to get another word, and that word was hair. I thought that was pretty phenomenal how she kept her composure. Also, I'm very curious to know what her background is when it comes to freestyling. Does she have a background in hip hop and rap specifically and that's where she acquired the skill? Or was it just something she cultivated over time as a poet? Um, Jasmine, if you're ever watching this, please let me know. I'm very curious. I've been practicing freestyling poetry myself for a short time now, but I've made drastic progress in this short amount of time. I might start recording myself doing the freestyle poems, and who knows, I might do a live stream, and during the live stream, I start requesting words. That, that'd be really cool. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all my thoughts. I thought the poem was amazing. And regardless of the word given to her, whether it was a color, Whatever it was, she always found a way to bring it back to the title, the topic of the poem being Spotlight. And I think that's what makes freestyles truly amazing, the best freestyles at least. They often have a central theme, even though you're going off the dome, no notes, no nothing. You see what I'm saying? Like that's, that's really impressive. If you can keep the topic consistent throughout, that's no joke, you know? Um, and that at that point, if the freestyle is done well enough with that central theme intact, 
folks might really start to wonder if it was really a freestyle or if you actually planted people in the crowd. I doubt you did. I'm highly confident you didn't do that. But the fact that that's something people can even start assuming would really show just how good your poem is. All right, so thank you for everything. But yeah, as for you viewers, we have another reaction to Jasmine Sims coming up very soon. Uh, in fact, it's probably within the next couple of days. It's gonna be to one of her written poems, so definitely check that out, all right? And with that, I'm out. Deuces.